the central government in a contentious order has directed states to ban the sale and breeding of 23 breeds of ferocious dogs, including the pit bull terrier, the American bulldog, Rottweiler and Mastiffs, amid rising instances of pet dog attacks. The directive issued to states and union territories bars people uh, from keeping as many as 23 breeds of dogs as pets. The centre also said that these breeds of dogs, which have already been kept as pets, should be sterilised to prevent further breeding. Ishika Varma is now joining us live uh, on the show. So, Ishika, in the past two years, you and I have reported on various uh, such stories where, you know, people, children in slum areas, uh, you know, residents of posh societies have been attacked by, uh, you know, by, by stray dogs and also by pet dogs. You know, the, that has been a very contentious issue and particularly in Delhi, as, as you would know, um, this is a very uh, contentious issue within RWAs and the, you would find, you know, a divided house everywhere. How has this gone down with the residents of Delhi? Well, Vedant, you know, as you rightly mentioned that, you know, there have been, has been this concerns, you know, from both the slums and also the posh societies here in the national capital regarding uh, the, uh, the attacks of both the stray dogs and the pet dogs. So now certainly, you know, those people, those RWAs that were raising this concerns, they certainly are happy with this move by the central government. Now, the central government has, in fact, issued directions to all the states, in fact, you know, to, to put a ban on 23 as to what they describe ferocious dog breeds to be kept as pets now these you know 23 breeds and as you rightly mentioned you know include the american bulldog uh, pit bull wolf dogs and others now certainly here you know uh, the uh, the letter also goes on to say that the local bodies need to ensure that you know uh, the license is not given for keeping these dog breeds as in fact you know uh, as pet dogs now certainly this has come after you know uh, many many cases of dog attack had been reported from across the country after which the department of animal husbandry has set up a committee and this committee in fact you know this committee had referred these 23 dog breeds as dangerous for human life so certainly you know the people there who had already raised these concerns you know they are quite happy with this move by the central government but certainly those who already have this as pets they have also been issued direction to make sure that you know uh, they you know uh, these dog breeds are now sterilized so certainly a move that will certainly you know make uh, people who have faced this issue uh, who have faced these dog bites you know uh, previously they are very happy but certainly those who had you know raised uh, questions on the authorities certainly there is you know criticism coming from there side as well. Over to you. Ishika, thanks very much for joining us with that update. And uh, you know, as we've seen in the past two years, this has even led to violence uh, in various societies and housing colonies here in the national capital uh, region. And it is certainly a very contentious issue. What is the solution? Well, Adnan Khan, a dog behavior expert, is now joining us live. Thanks very much uh, for joining us, Mr. Khan. So, well, you know, nobody can deny that this is a real problem. This menace of not just stray dogs, but, uh, you know, pet dog attacks as well. But is this a solution? Because we've seen that you know, sterilizations have not worked in the past and many would say that the only solution perhaps could be to understand the complexities of dog behavior and you know take uh, uh, take such uh, sort of steps in accordance with that and sterilizations have never really worked right thank you so much for taking this topic up uh, of late and i'm absolutely uh, you know sympathetic towards all of the people who have been affected by these dog bites however this letter that is specializing uh, you know specially targeting 23 breeds is absolutely unresearched and it's kind of you know putting a carpet over a much bigger problem that we're kind of hiding under the rug there is a massive need for regulation on pet parenting on the right way of pet keeping dog training having uh, trained dogs and training your dog should become a nationwide mandate it is not about the particular breeds that are attacking what happens if a labrador or a golden retriever or a beagle or a shih tzu end up biting someone because they're not in the list those people who have been affected are not going to get any kind of uh, you know respite from this situation i have personally trained pit bulls and rottweilers to be therapy dogs for autistic kids and cerebral palsy and to go and uh, you know for special needs kids my personal uh, you know dogs have actually gone and done therapy visits so it's not about the breed as much as 
the people who are getting these dogs are getting them from unverified sources okay. they're not raising them properly they're not investing in the right kind of training and upbringing and the neighborhoods and the state legislature does not uh, penalize someone whose dog bites somebody or whose dog attacks someone they are not getting penalized in a more impactful manner but having said manner. that also mr khan while you say that you know this decision is unresearched but the fact is that keeping uh, you know dogs like the pitbull pitbull perhaps uh, in an in an urban space where there is you know space is limited you have housing societies like high rises which has to sort of also look at uh, a new kind of a residential reality you know it's uh, when we're looking at a uh, limited urban space uh, keeping such ferocious dogs don't you think this is detrimental to the pet pet also absolutely so i completely completely agree that this falls upon as a responsibility on the pet parent that the neighborhood and the state government should not be allowing someone living in a smaller area or an, or a, or a high rise or an apartment to own breeds that require large spaces why i uh, meant what i meant by saying that unresearched because out of the 23 breeds if you go through all of the breeds there are breeds like american bulldogs are planinac tom jack these breeds don't even exist in india nobody even brought them into the country so it kind of seems like that excerpt is just a copy paste kind of a thing and we are not even looking into the breeds that have actually attacked people what are the cases what are the ins instances me running multiple training centers I know the highest number of dog bites are coming from labradors and chihuahuas who are not even considered in these lists people are assuming them to be the friendly breed That's an interesting point so Mr Khan then what is the solution then what is the solution uh, what is so, it because this is also so, very immediate problem you see we while of course you say that this requires research and some sort of co consultations with stakeholders and all of that but it's a very immediate problem and that it requires an immediate solution as well So immediate solution would be strict and harsh penalties for whoever the owner was whose dog ended up uh, you know mutilating and attacking someone and they should be penalized as much as attempt to murder or assault with a weapon so that people get more and more conscious of having consequences of raising their dog in a uh, wrong manner right and it's not the breed or the caste of the dog that was responsible for it it was the person who took the owner of bringing the dog in and then not giving them enough training and exercise so that person should absolutely be penalized not only financially but they should be serving time in an institution so that mm. them and people around them should realize that it's the punishment of uh, badly owning a dog and not picking the right or wrong breed basically because this is narrowing on the basis of right. uh, castes and human beings that only certain type of castes are violent and others are not right thanks mr khan for joining us uh, with your perspective there this is a long drawn old debate uh particularly in uh, areas like the national capital region where we have seen a, a dog attacks uh, pet dog attacks as well not just here but various parts of india as well